Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here today. Phones are still open at 559-656-0317. You can call or text that number. Or if you have questions, you can also send them by email at questions at insurancehour.com. You can also, if you need help right away, pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, use the keyword insurance, and that will transfer you to an agent that can help you, hopefully, right away. We had the pleasure today of speaking with Assemblywoman Blanca Pacheco, and we had a great conversation about a bill that she has penned, she has created from the ether, that is going to potentially impact insurance limits on car sharing. I can't stop wanting to say ride sharing because I've heard ride sharing so much. I go to the airport and I see the signs pointing for ride share, go here, for ride share, go there. This is car sharing. So if you have any particular questions about it, I think the best thing to do, you can reach out to me and I can forward your information directly to the assemblywoman or you can reach out to her directly. As I said previously, we're going to put links so you can reach her. All of her contact information will be available for you to see and you can reach out to her or to us. I think as an insurance person, I want to give you my two cents on this. What's interesting about this is anytime you hear legislation that has to do with limits of liability insurance, it gives me pause. And what that means is when you have an insurance policy, when a consumer decides to buy an insurance policy, they're making a choice. First, they're making the choice to purchase the policy. Then as far as liability limits go, they have to make a decision regarding how much liability insurance they want to have. As a quick put a pin in this, what is liability insurance? Liability insurance is what's going to protect you from somebody else suing you because of your negligence. That's a very oversimplified concept of what liability insurance is. And again, I'm not an attorney, so disclaimer. So when you purchase an insurance policy, you're deciding how much protection do you personally want to have between yourself, your assets, and this other party, this other person, this other entity, this whatever it might be that would potentially come after you in the event of some type of negligence. I like to look at it more like a buffer, right? How much of a buffer do you want to have? How much distance do you want to put between your bank account, between you and this other whatever it might be that's in essence coming after you? Forgetting the fact of who's at fault, who's not at fault. We're just going to use the simple psychology that someone is after your stuff. Fault obviously does play a part. If you're not at fault, then for the most part, we would not assume that there would be a lot of liability required. Although, even when there are incidents that are deemed to not be a, an individual's fault, there are still significant costs that can be involved to litigate, to have papers filed, to just go through the process in general. As an insurance broker, we see this all the time. For small fender bender accidents, for example, even when nobody's hurt, even when there's just a, a little bit of damage on this car, a little bit of damage on that car, both people are sort of throwing their hands in the air saying, it was their fault, no, it was their fault. Be that as it may, this takes time and it costs money. If attorneys become involved because we can't decide on who is at fault or who should be paying these bills, then it gets more expensive and more time passes. So regardless of who's at fault for the sake of this brief conversation, we're looking at a situation where you have to decide as the consumer, how much buffer, how much space do you want there to be between this other thing, person, entity, and yourself? Some people will say they just want to have whatever the law requires, the minimum limit. It could be $15,000, $30,000, whatever it might be. And it does vary by state. And in California, the minimum limit that is required is changing. The limit that's required today is smaller than, limit, than the limit that will be required January 1st of 2025 and again, 2026, I believe it goes for about three years, slightly increasing what that minimum limit is that you need to carry in order to satisfy your financial obligations when driving a vehicle. Side note of a side note, you don't actually have to have an insurance policy. You could actually post a bond and still satisfy that requirement. 
that's a whole other topic, a whole other conversation. But every time I say you have to purchase insurance, I get this little voice in my head. And yes, I have talked to somebody about that. I get this little voice in my head that says, you don't have to buy insurance to satisfy financial responsibility laws. And that is absolutely true. The way to get around that or the alternate route to satisfy financial responsibility laws are to post a bond. Okay, I'll stop talking about it, I promise, at least for now. So people have to decide how much they want to have of that protection. The law has a particular amount that they say you must have. And then people have to decide, do they want to have that? Do they want to have more? Insurance companies are in the business of providing what consumers are looking to purchase. You can purchase liability insurance for the most part in the thousands the 10,000s, the hundreds of thousands, the millions and the tens of millions. And if you're a business, perhaps even the hundreds of millions of dollars in protection. Now, does the average person need a hundred million dollars in liability coverage? Of course not. I think it's safe to say that is not realistic. Do they need 15,000? Do they need 100,000? Do they need 500,000? Do they need a million? This is the area where it gets to be more individualized and where choice is so important that consumers have the choice, have the ability to sit and decide based on the assets that they want to protect and how much peace of mind they want to have. Some people will say they only need to have as much coverage as assets that they have. And the problem is that's sort of missing the point because you may have less assets, but the alternative means that you file bankruptcy or that you give all of the assets that you have. And again, depending on what you're found potentially liable for, you may run out of assets. You may have a judgment for more than you have that you would then have to find a way to satisfy at some point. So the choice about liability insurance is individual. And this particular bill has to do with the limit is being, that is being required for a business that is doing business in California. So, Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense or a lot of sense if I've done anything right and you understand the point I'm trying to make. Choice is everything. Consumers need to be able to make the choices for themselves and businesses can make the choices for themselves as well. And I think what this legislation does is it provides businesses with a lower threshold, a lower pay to play form of entry. And with that, I will end for now. Thank you so much for being here and learning with us today. This has been and is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. You can call anytime, 559-656-0317. Everyone stay safe, stay cool, and I will talk with you again soon. I do want to thank all of you for taking the time to listen today. I know insurance is not necessarily the most sexy concept. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. It is important that you understand what it is you're getting, what you should be looking for, red flags, you name it. You just need to know more than you used to. Things are more complicated than they used to be. If you have any questions, please reach out to me directly. You can email your questions to questions at insurancehour.com or call and leave a voicemail at 559 656-0317. Educating and entertaining Californians one insurance policy at a time. This is Insurance Hour. The show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.